Hello, welcome back. I want to show you how to go from this to this. A very easy cloth. It's really classic. It has a very classic look and it's really good in use. You can wash this in 60 degrees if you are crocheting with 100% cotton like I am. And I will go forward very slowly and explain everything I'm doing so everyone can follow. For the materials you will need some cotton yarn in a size 8.4 and a crochet hook size 3 millimeters, and you'll need some scissors and a tapestry needle. So to begin this we start with a slip knot. So make a loop with your yarn and take the long end of the yarn behind the loop and grab your yarn in the middle with your crochet hook. Then we will start chaining. So yarn over and pull through the loop on your needle. Yarn over and pull through. This is the foundation of our work and this chain decides how wide you want your cloth to be. I will chain up 60 um, chains for my cloth and it will become 25 centimeters wide. So if you want a smaller cloth you will chain up less and more for a a wider cloth, but I will do 60 for mine. Um, I already made mine, so I will just do a little sample piece for you. Uh, so you will chain up the number you want for your cloth and then meet me up. Just pause the video and then meet me back here and I will begin the next row immediately. I will begin working from the third chain. So this one on your hook never counts as a stitch or a chain. This is the first one, this is the second, and this is the third. So we will do a half double crochet, yarn over, insert your needle in the third chain, grab the yarn, pull through one, you have three loops on the needle, then yarn over, and pull through all three loops. Alright, this is a half double crochet. Go search for the next stitch, this one, the next chain, and yarn over. Insert your needle in the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, Pull through all three loops and again yarn over, insert your needle in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So we do one half double crochet all across, so one half double crochet in every chain all the way until you are at the very end of the chain and then you'll begin working the other way for row two. I just made this little sample size so I will quickly be done and I will just show you how to do it. But you just pause the video and finish your chain. This is your final chain, this one. This one is your slip knot from the beginning. You will not be working into this one. This one is your final stitch. So yarn over and work your final half double crochet in the last chain before we turn the work. Each time we turn the work, we chain two. So yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through, and turn your work. So for the second row, we will also be doing half double crochet, but we will only be working in the back loop. So we have these V's on top, and usually we will go down underneath both of these strands, but we will only be working in the back loop so this is the back loop and this is your front loop. 
So your front loop is the one that's closest to you and the back loop is the other one. So yarn over and then insert your needle in the third stitch but only in the back loop. So go down through the legs between the legs of this V of the third stitch. Then grab the yarn and pull through and yarn over and pull through all three loops. And again, yarn over for the next half double crochet. Insert your needle. Grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three loops. For the next one, yarn over, insert your needle in this back loop in between the legs of the V and do your half double crochet. So now you see this one is being pushed out a bit. This is also how you do ribbing. And that's because we're only working in the back loop. So this is the front loop lying out here. So we will continue doing one half double crochet in the back loop of every stitch until we are at the very end. And of course you have a bit longer way to go than me. So you just go ahead and pause the video and finish your row. I am done with mine already. So I will just show you how to turn yet again. And we have this last stitch just like before this one. This loop out here that's not a real V. It's only the real V's you see we're going into. So this one doesn't count. So yarn over, go into the back loop and finish with your half double crochet. And it's looking like this. You chain two. Remember to chain two every time you turn and then turn and then skip the chain two. That's how you make a straight edge. It's very important that you skip the many as you chain up. So you will only be working the real stitches. So skip the first two and work in the third stitch, yarn over for a half double crochet again, only in the back loop, insert your needle in the third stitch back loop and do your half double crochet and yarn over back loop, half double crochet, yarn over back loop, half double crochet. And again, you will push it out a bit. So we will continue this for every row until you have a piece that's fitting for your needs. I continue crocheting for 25 centimeters as well as the width of the cloth. And I will now cut the yarn. And pull through the loop and grab the tapestry needle and I will now weave the uh, weave in the end so I insert the hook underneath these stitches Like this and then I will go in someplace else but underneath the same stitches again and again just go in someplace else but underneath the same stitches again and the rule is that if you do this tw uh, three times it won't get up. So now we're secured and we can cut the yarn. And we have a very classic cloth and 
really good um, in use. And that's it. I hope you liked the tutorial. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye!